Hey everybody, welcome back to Spirit Plays more Spiral Knights. Again, before we begin, please click the like button, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Also, I got a Discord channel. It should be in the description there if anybody wants to join there for some decent conversation. We were talking about the flat earth and how it could happen to you too. You, Your earth also can be flat. Just... So we're doing some Heart of Ice today. I was looking at all the... Uh, I already did this this arcade the other day, I think. Oh, no, no, not this one. Sorry. This one. Tier 3. Boom. With the sleepiness and the compounds. Uh, and we have the Silver Clover Gate, which, I mean, it's not so bad. But then we're all going halfway. And then we got Brother Vanna. If we're going to do Brother Vanna, we might as well go out. I know we're... We'll go all out. I know we're, uh, we're also waiting on... Or rather... Also, I'm almost to the point where I can get something. I don't even know what I'm going to get. Maybe the Shadow Shield? I'm not... You left. <laughs> I'm out. Mic drop. Uh, so anyway, Heart of Ice. I, I, I'm actually going to use my Sizzling Hearthstone Pendant. I have a... Uh... So sad. I'm going to uh, attempt not to get frozen. But Brother Mike, the Immortal... Is that you, Donut? It, it's, it's, it just seems so coincidental that At Moon came on right after you left, so I'm not sure. I'm just not sure. Anyway, the uh, this might take a little, uh, take a minute. Oh my gosh, you're so beautiful. Look at this stuff. <laughs> Why wouldn't you just have two Arcanus? That are both level 10. And an offset for... Yeah, I don't know, man. You guys look so beautiful. I'm jealous. Let's see. You know what? We got a hat. We can we can switch it up. There we go. I, I don't feel left out. Maybe he's changing up. I don't know. Anyway, it's been a... The past couple days have been very interesting. You're going with the Valance. Oh, that's interesting. There's a lot of interesting things going on. I, You know what? I can't. Let's get this... Get, get this Garnet Stranger cap off my head. Ah! What is this nonsense? Okay. He said, give me a second. And I guess that meant... Now, uh, we're going with the Sleep Bomb. Obviously, the charging aspect is good. Uh, we go with mobility as well with the, the Griffin, which has ridiculous fiend damage, which is actually the biggest thing we're worried about because we want to make sure this Grievers are kind of hunted down and put in their place, right? We have, we have specific monster bias when we come into here. I mean, I guess the, the counter-argument would be like, why do you got to be so hard on Grievers? I mean, you should use weapons that aren't very racially specific. I'm like, are you absolutely kidding me? We know what's in there. We used wisdom and good judgment to to make ourselves, you know, get through life. This is usually how things go. Oh yeah, the I got a little little ball thingies. But I I just I, I love mobility, man. When it comes to oh, he's he's got he's got the uh, the flourish going on. I love mobility, being able to survive. We can, we can use our American Eagle here. Yeah, da, 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 da. Trump, Trump, Trump. <laughs> so I know there's a lot of people that watch this series, like in, in the, the foreign aspect of things. What is the, the like, do, do foreigners, foreigners, you know, people that are from, like, I don't know, Singapore, like I think Admu is. Most of the people in my guild are here. So if you're on the Discord and you're talking to people that are Spiral Knights, odds are they're from our, our guild. Discord. Ah, I'm sorry. Oh, no, it didn't blow up. Oh, no. <laughs> Odds are they're from our Discord channel. I'm trying to help. It's also, this this gun is also good for for breaking free, freeze. So you're probably talking to someone in Singapore. I mean, ah, uh, we we still got frozen. Help. A lot of my audience, because I worked third shift for a while, especially when I started this game, I just you know got adapted to talking with people from Australia. Brother Grug, one of my uh, Grug the Grug the Sailor, I think his name was. I forget. Was uh, one of my 
favorite dudes to hang out with. Sometimes you just need a buddy, and he was one of those guys, and he's like, I can't play this freaking game, dude. I'm from Australia. The latency is just too much. I don't get it. What's wrong with you? Stop playing this game. And it made me so mad. Ah, the game itself. I mean, people don't make me so mad. The frustrating mechanics here, and especially when I got into the lockdown community, man. But that's reliving the past. Right now we're talking about the future just a bit. Um, you know, my, uh, the, 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 uh, what day is today? I think Mon this, this video is going to come out Monday, maybe? So the, the big event in my life that has happened is my, uh, my father passed away. I talked about it a little bit on the catacombs video. Oh, 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 excuse me. That was a lot of damage for someone so tiny. No one, no one, it's, it's like my daughter when she decides it's a good idea to, I don't know, step on my pinky and put her entire weight on it. Or when she says, I, I'm going to pretend to be a necklace and then hang off my neck. <laughs> it doesn't really, you know, daddy's not getting any uh, stronger by doing this. I maybe I am, like I said, you know, the, the Okinawans are right. The general consensus is you can't get stronger by working out once you hit a certain age. But I've seen people defy this left and right. It's scripturally, it says you're given four score years and ten unless by force of will. And then you can get ten more. Sorry, three score years. That's 70. Or you can get 80. And there's stories in there of people that are just ridiculous. It's peace wise. Oh, we missed him. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Anyway, let's drop this here. Like it's freaking hot, dude. Ready when you are, guys. This first arena is not so bad. I think there's like three or four different variants we can uh, we can deal with here. The sleep bombs should help out a little bit. As far as it's all about the griever regulation at this point. The griever regulation. So if there's some kind of overarching, oh, shoot him up, yo. Reese's puffs, Reese's puffs. Eat him up, beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. Wow, I went, we went way off topic. Oh, oh no, <laughs> help. Way off topic. So my father passed away. There's a now. I'm not speaking lately. I've I've already shed my tears for the man, literally years ago. Um, because every time I try to, uh, I, I talked about this on the catacomb streams. So if you watch both, I'm sorry. Or catacomb kids videos. Like I, I literally, every time I try to bring up deeper topics. Oh no! Yeah, we need to use this pill. Here we go. Every time I try to bring up deeper topics, we use this, right? I'm learning. Run around. Eventually, does the shock thing. We get around behind him. We can shoot him up in the back. Don't worry, I got this, guys. Maybe. Oop. He would uh he he change the subject or be like you can never really know and I'm like well that's a that's a bad way to live life because our brain again I, I, this is regurgitation from past years of, of of philosophy and study the the mind is meant to find patterns hello cat what a, what a great time for you to show up <laughs> the mind is meant to find patterns and stuff oh no can we just grab this grab it oh no we've done it thank you oh my gosh the Trojans actually saved me. They are saviors will save you for last. But the uh so we how do we find questions? And I had a guy, oh no, just get dude frozen is the main thing. Where's Elsa? But we uh we do ourselves a disservice by saying you can never really know. Because our our minds are meant to, to find patterns. This is how we use our reason. To to deny this is actually denying reason. You just use your best evidence that you have in front of you to get an objective opinion if at all possible have we really done anything ah oh my gosh they saved my life dude the griever's stuck out there why have we never done this before okay now we got it oh he's gone that is freaking genius dude Admu, i love you i'm gonna remember that for next time throw the griever out there why have we never done this before okay so, and I, I talked with my uncle who lives in Portland also. I live in Pennsylvania, so that's literally halfway across the world for me. He was like, yeah, he was a private guy. Never wanted to talk about anything. The only time we uh, really had any kind of conversation was when he would show up once in a while after a couple of years. And just be like, yeah, here, here I am with my son. Uh, okay, that was, oh no! Got it, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Yep, just, just pop them up. Crap. 
We did it to ourselves. Darn it! Almost made it through. I'm, I'm clicking because I want to shoot. But it also switches camera views. So I'm not too... I'm, I am broken up about it. I actually took off two days of work. These are crucial times because we're under man and my boss is getting an epidural because he has a hernia and two fake hips. Like, is there more down there? Yes, there was. And, we're, and we have people in Michigan on a project. It, it's like a whole combination of weirdness. That, so we're going to see... I'm going to see how my family is then. And, uh, and my family. They are my family. It's at work. I had this revelation whenever I was at work one day and I said, my, my work is my church. And uh, it, it, it hit the heart. The church is called the call is is referred to the Ecclesiastes, I think it is. It's the called out ones. Should probably use this more, maybe. So anyway, when when you when you steep yourself in agnosticism, it's uh things get a little wonky. Cause then you can never really know what's true. Like Bertrand Russell had the same issue. Oop. Just stay here and, and love life. He's sleepy. I'm gonna kill the healers. I don't have any. I don't have any strong bias against them. I'm just you know. They're healers. Ah! Do we need to stop getting frozen? I'm glad it didn't last very long. Thank you for your help. Okay, easy, easy. Oh, we did it again, dude. <laughs> What's wrong with us? There we go. Boom, got him. Run! Not into the fire drink. Or the, the ice drink. Easy. Just dodge the bullets and we'll be fine. Got him like sleep and fire. What a combination. Oh no. This is like a shortcut to that, right? I'm coming, buddy. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Got some fiends. I know the his attack can go through here, but mine cannot go through to him, which is kind of a little bit of BS, but that's all right. So I did try. This is this is where you can get to the course, right? Because if you believe in eternity and the existential, and you believe in uh, you know, metaphysical and laws of logic and everything that, that points to creator creation and the longing of man, I think they call it the ontological arguments. I I I, I I'm weak when it comes to the the specific phrases. I'm really surprised we didn't get hit there. Um, but the 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 philosophy that because you were built with a sense of yearning, there should be something that cures that yearning right like we're hungry therefore there should be food we have a sense of purpose we believe in something outside of ourselves like the laws of logic they are consistent the laws of mathematics are also oh no what have we done are also consistent we're gonna get hit here a lot seven seven let him up or at least just hit him a little bit. We got a griever on our tail, but that's okay, dude. This is what the griffin's freaking built for. I love it. Okay, let's not uh, let's not die here. They're fighting it with a flourish. Those guys are more manly than I am. Ooh, easy up here. <sighs> Run. Okay, we're still alive. <laughs> the dodging, dude. It's working. By all means, please direct your attention this way. Dude, they both killed the Trojans at the same time. Which is amazing. It's not me. It's not the guy with firing BBs at these gentlemen. Oh, we can go this way. Well done. I'd like to think this is helping. Oh, no! Why can't we put that on dead monster to sleep? Get out of my face. Throw this at you. Oh, it's back in the bottom right hand corner. <laughs> Somebody get that man. We do kind of want this. Oh, it's a moment we've all been waiting for. Ah! <laughs> 
Alright, give me this. Okay. Is there anything else we missed? I think so. This this crew are freaking killer. Atmu and Guider Guider Cry. Something like that. Dude, this is the this is the worst road. <laughs> Do you think there were cars down here at some point? Anyway, theory crafting on lore. There's a channel for that, right? <sighs> but I needed a, you know, this is like my buffer zone. So I got, if I'm, if I'm trying to do math, I try not to split the arcade runs like over the weekend. I want to do this, uh, this one five days a week. The exceptions of that, obviously, are Slime Rancher because my kids just love that game too much. And the other one is um, you know, Neon Abyss because I'm just freaking addicted. Thank you, cat, for not. Just sitting your little cat butt right on my mouse. Maybe he's learning. Maybe he's got his spatial relations down. So the craving we have for eternity, and the like. My even my dad when I was I was talking to his girlfriend, who's lived with for looks like a slime, right? For like twenty years. Um, twenty years, thirty years. It's got to be like thirty years, because I'm thirty nine. I just revealed my age on the internet. What's going on with me? Don't trust strangers. But yeah, because of that, um, she was close to him. I'm like, does he have anything? And she's like, well, just... I'm like, does he have any books or any kind of... Uh, I don't know, remembering stuff? She's like, well, just a bunch of electronics equipment. Probably like a couple... $20,000, $30,000 worth of it. And um, he has a bunch of... Uh, old computer books from the 70s. I'm like, wow. So it's a direct contrast to... I got... A bunch of philosophy books and, and theology books from, you know, forever ago. <laughs> I, I wasn't really like it wasn't a date comparison. I'm just like the this this the strict uh, difference between my father's and mine. Is, oh no, oh no, just use it, use it and be happy. Thank you. It was, it was just different. That's all. Especially when um. And this is why I can't cry too many tears, because people, this is the one thing that God gives dignity to people, like the, one of the ways he does, in my opinion, is that you are, you, you, first off, you are, you are granted your choice, your but you're, you're not separated from the actions of your choice, and eventually if you make enough choices, you become the choices you make. So you have to be very careful with that because you, you, your choices influence your future. You could see this in like statistics and, and uh, oh no, I almost died there. Your statistics and uh, trends, like uh, the, the biggest one, oh no, biggest one for me at least is like the homosexual trend. Um, it, and only when, when it regards to relationships and families and so ah. Uh, like the 3% the, the more likelihood between the generations to become a homosexual if you have homosexual parents. So you cascade that in generations. Eventually everything becomes okay, especially when you're going to the no no. Five. Six. Not map. That's not what we wanted, but that's okay. We had a full slew of pills and we decided not to use any of them. Anyway. So you cascade that on the generations and you see like it eventually people the the whole sense this whole sense of like causation this whole sense of like degrading social values um if you don't teach this to your generation why those kind of things are important they will get lost over time if anything because of the sense of ingratitude will just so over endear people got him we got him we save you the griffin saves you actually it's not me it's, it's the, the, the sleek design of, of a high velocity bb gun which apparently does a lot of damage to the fiends for some reason Okay, we did it. I say we, but it was not me at all. <laughs> These guys were awesome. Beautiful. Okay, okay. Easy, easy. Just one left. Had to be done. <sighs> Sorry. You guys are too, just too fast. We'll get there. It's got to work out more. <laughs>
Beautiful. Take these guys out, right? I know we don't drop anything, but it's like taking out hecklers in a. Um, I have no idea. Ah! Give me that damage bonus, son. There we go. It's a lot of little eyeballs, dude. And having the ability to dodge is just so crucial. Ooh. Anyway, so I mean, don't try not to take my uh, my my thought processes on my dad. There, there's this, there's something. In, first off, depends what where this worldviews come. Like, you have to, you have to be if you're, if you're truthful. I tried to start like five sentence sentences there, and because the coffee hasn't totally kicked in, they all kind of you know went out the window. But anyway, if you want to be if you're going to go truthful, if you want to be consistent, because hypocrisy is the new unforgivable sin of this generation. Because but everybody's hypocritical, especially when it comes. Oh no. Oh no, we lost him. Especially when it comes to because we're not consistent. We grow, we age. We are not the same thing. We're not permanents. We're not absolutes. Only one group, one character can claim that in the metaphysical journey we uh, we live in life, and that's the creator of the absolutes and logic itself. You know, God, or at least the origin of it. Maybe he was always this kind of thing. Maybe one plus one always equal two. You know, this kind of things got to be consistent. But if if you if you think about the uh, the only other alternative we have, and Richard Dawkins said this, this is the, it's the the evolutionary paradigm of survival of the fittest. He needs mouth to mouth. At move. <laughs> we saved him. Anyway. Yeah, if you want to be consistent, um, what is the point of uh, the bonds of? It, 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 are not the bonds of fatherhood and life itself? Like, why are we getting all emotional about this stuff? You know what I mean? I'm just gonna do this. That's not the right one. Here we go. Give me that damage bonus, son. Okay, we almost got one. The grievers are, that we obviously have to take out first. That's just that's the rule of life, son. It's just nature. Like, dude, we can do this whole thing with a sleep bomb and a griffin. Why have we never done this before? Because it's that. <laughs> Can't really take him out with the griffin. Oh, we almost did. One more shot, we would have got it. I lost confidence. Should have kept. Sh Should have kept shooting, yo. There we go. Somebody's sleepy. And it ain't me. Yatta! Firebomb would also be extremely useful now. Forget if there's another wave or not. Yeah, there is, because we haven't hit, we haven't seen the Trojan yet. I don't know even know where to put these bombs, so I'm just gonna kind of put them everywhere. Here we go. The sleep bomb doesn't make everything like super easy. But I'm sure it helps. No, no, it's it's too much to keep track of with the. Uh, I mean, we're we're spoiled when we play games like Neon Abyss, right? Where every single bullet is like the color of a neon epoxy fluorine charge. I don't know if what I said just made sense, but that's okay. The sight of a, a sun in a dance rave. Oh no. Okay, we need to use these because the worst thing we can do is spend another one of Ajax's sparks. We go easy freaking peasy dude and who's still still just about untouched love this guy love him. I like both of them <laughs> this is the part gets a little tricky and your your little aura there is not helping out dude I'm so sorry go oh no help Thank you, Trinkets, for making my life a little better. What have we done? <laughs> Just go. 
There we go. I'm really surprised the exploding blocks didn't work on those guys. Go. Alright, coming. Coming, buddy. It'll be a little too late, but we gotta sleep bomb down. Oh man, we missed piecewise. That was our that was our that was our destruction window. That guy's a beast. Anyway, starting out, like, Discord's pretty cool, too. I, I have no idea how to make... There's so many Discords that have, like, amazing rules. How did you get in there? You drop things? It doesn't matter. The Force has moved on. This is the, the area we, we have amazing difficulty with and love at the same time. So we're going to sleep everything. Watch out for the glowing little eyeballs for a minute. And enjoy our distance learning. Through the eyes of an angel. I was going to say through the eyes of a griffin, but the, the angel just kind of spoke to me. Give me, give me like 30 more minutes. Isn't this... Okay, he was, he, was taking, he was taking damage from my gun and from the orbital. The orbital I was, I was kind of in question with. I think that's it, right? There's the... Uh, we missing one? Oh, he's right there. He was invisible, dude. This guy was so sneaky. Careful, careful. Oh no! Get we're we're alive. Got it, got it. Coming, coming, gentlemen. The sleep bombs. They will make our lives consistently amazing. So will these, so will this. Beautiful. I can do this whole thing with it. Oh no, something snuck up on me. Those ninjas. I don't, actually, I think that was a fiend I just didn't spot. I keep thinking it was the invisibility click that's going to catch us. Now that I can't see the web, the uh, monster spawning, or if they're almost all. Yeah, okay, yeah. that was a fairly smart choice. Season number four. Now, actually, this this arena right here, I'm more more scared about than uh, just about any other. It's easy. It's, this sleep bomb certainly does narrow down all the issues and simplify things to the nth degree. Okay, let's just use this. We're just making them teleport, and that's annoying for everybody. We could have brought the Acheron. What was I thinking? Because it's shadow, and these things are weak against shadow, that's why. But, I mean, that's, that's again, just the inconsistency of the weapon itself. I don't know. That's really, uh... That's not the game's fault. Maybe. Thank goodness we got a sleep potion. Also, I'm s seriously thinking this game is, like, a either graphical up update or we're doing something right, because I'm not lived with this kind of frame rate and then my graphics on medium like ever oh, i missed him i don't even know if this guy can be put to sleep probably not i'm gonna find out though he is asleep <laughs> boom Get him, Mike. Now's your time. Okay, well, we didn't get any damage modes, but the thought was there. It's okay to think that we got things going the right way. And this this crew is freaking amazingly consistent. I love them. Blast your way this way. And, uh, dude, as long as you have a blitz, and we've shown this before, like, survive, there's a difference between survivability in this level ah, and speed. Because, like, I, I think the first time I, had, I recorded this mission, Dude, our guy's frozen. <laughs> oh no! Gotta cry. <laughs> I just read his name a couple times and hopefully get got it right. But I, I have a blitz. I don't think it's level ten yet, but it's pretty close. Beautiful. I have a blitz. 
It's uh, and it kills him in like two seconds. But, but I, I have used so many sparks on the way up. Good job typing, typing hands. It's armor abs, man. Get your get your body shot practice on with that guy. <sighs> Anyway, okay. Thank goodness. We made it. So there's a, a chance. That's actually, I think, the fastest we've ever done this one. It's a half hour. These guys are amazing. There's a chance. We get a, lots of radiance here. Probably more radiance here than we got in the last, like, maybe three arcade runs. What is what's wrong with me? I love the arcade. It's, it's the least profitable. But it's the one I love the most. Let me see. We got we the Akron, and we need... Sixty-four. Sixty-four? Are we going to get that this time around? How many do we have? Hold on. We could do some math there. I can see if we're just uh, we're going to hang out after the end screen or if we're going to just go. We have 44. My mistake. So, yeah, we'll, we'll roll on our Acheron after this. Look at all these beautiful coins. So, I forget what I was talking about before the game rudely interrupted me. I do know what I was talking about. The the old concept of uh, uh, you take God out of the equation when it comes to death. I honor my dad. I also know that it is promised to us that we will live forever with the consequences of our choice. There's always an outworking of those consequences after like a certain point. Like you eventually become the, the consequences. You become your choice where you get to choose. So... If you choose to never know, then you that's like a the analogy is like see you're on a river that's pushing you around down the down the river. It's time. Time is this river, so you can't it's hard not to have that kind of analogy. You're going somewhere. You could choose to either get off or you can choose to wait and see if that roaring ahead of you is actually a waterfall. You use your best evidence that you have available to you. Oh we got three radiants, so we're not gonna be doing this. Anyway, use your best evidence. These guys look so cool. Really wish I had that. That guy is even has cat ears. It's amazing. So, the best evidence I have points to uh, God and creation. The best evidence that we have in our world is scripture, specifically the Bible and Judeo-Christian worldview. And uh, the alternatives, trying to have a coherent world outside of that paradigm, are just about null and void. Everything ends in death, decay, selfishness. The world stops with me. I might, I'm going to get the uh, the book on uh, the philosophy history out again about the, the gentleman who wrote like every single country, every single culture that has ever finished, that has ever died, has died in socialism because it it stops. The whole culture gets to a point of like not even caring about the next generation, not caring about the previous generation, not listening to anybody, not not doing history, expecting instant gratification, expecting things to work for them, expecting someone else to make the decisions for them, like big government, expecting not to outlive not to have the con like live up to consequences for their actions expecting all this stuff that's not and it, it goes counterintuitive to the evolutionary design which says survival of the fittest you don't deserve anything you have to earn your way to the top intellectual inconsistency so that's why i really am, am going with the uh the age of unreason from bad religion though bad religion they are I, i'm 99 percent sure they're atheists uh, you never know really what someone believes until you ask. Until you ask them, people people are people. They aren't worldviews. People just have worldviews. There's, there's a difference there. But at least if you're an atheist, you can have discussion on absolutes. There are no absolutes. The only absolute is there are no absolutes, which is a contradiction in metaphysical terms. You're actually denying metaphysics and logic and philosophy, which is quite interesting. For a generation to deny, deny consistency, especially in our political realm. Oh my gosh. Anyway, that'll do it for this one. Once again, thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, click the like button, subscribe if you want to see more in the future, and I'll see you next time. Take care.